<clears throat> I'm a leader at my job. I'm like the pharmacy manager there. Mm-hmm. And when I got to the store, it was a trouble store. So it was one of the stores where a lot of floater pharmacists come in and just did just the bare minimum to get things done. The technicians never had a routine. No one really was there and wanted to really be there. So it was one of those places where the culture of the pharmacy was terrible. So I came in there and I was like, listen, y'all, y'all don't know me and I don't know you guys, but this is what we're about to do. We're about to come together as a unit. We're going to be a team and I'm going to lead the way. So I showed them that like, hey, I'm not just going to ask you to, to come in early and stay late and me not do it. So I used to come in early and, and they see me like, oh, he's coming in early and he's setting things up for us. And I would tell them, they even say that, I'm like, oh, I got it, I got it. You're going to set us up for success. I said, yes, yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. So in the morning I come in and I, make sure certain things are right. So when they come in, they starting off already one, two steps ahead before like before the customers even get there. So by the time the customers get there, we already rolling. We're not cranking up, we already rolling. We already going 100 miles per hour, ready for the day. You know what I'm saying? But that is one of the great characteristics of being a great leader is showing, not just talking. You know what I'm saying? Because Martin Luther King Jr. didn't just speak, he went out there and marched in front of the people, like what with the people. With the people, man. And that's one thing, like you just said, just piggybacking off you, man. The standard. You set a standard. You set a bar. As as the leader of my family, not even just talking about people, the leader of my family is my job to set a bar for my kids. Um, I wrote the book to set a bar. Like I want my daughter to be able to look at it and say, Oh, my daddy wrote a book. I gotta do something better, because that's just the standard. That's the standard. I remember she told the teacher, she told the teacher, yeah, my daddy is an author. She <laughs> said, but I want to be an author and an illustrator. Okay. We set a bar, just like at your place. Like, you set a bar. So now they see you setting the standard and what they're going to have. They have no choice but to follow. Yes, sir. They have no choice but to follow. So you got to set the standard and keep pushing the envelope because you want the person behind you. It's common courtesy to the person that comes behind you. You can leave it better than you found it. And they could be able to see, okay, you're here. If I want to beat him or achieve what he achieved, I got to do this plus more. So setting the standard, man, that's facts. That's and, two facts. 